The rule that I chose that expires is when you multiply a number by 10, you just add a zero to the end of the number. So at first we're going to look at cases where this rule does work. So we're going to take 10 times 7, and according to the rule, when you multiply this 7 by 10, you would just add a zero to the end of the number and get 70. So we're going to check and see if this works by doing the standard algorithm. So 10 times 7, so 7 times 0 is 0, and then 7 times 1 is 70. So we see that 70 and 70, they're the same number. So this rule does work for 7 times 10. And now we're going to try 10 times 123. According to the rule, we'll just take 123 and add a zero to the end of it. So that would give us 1,230. And we're going to use the standard algorithm to check this. So zero times three is zero, zero times two is zero, and zero times one is zero. And then one times three is three, one times two is two, and one times one is one. And so both times we get 1,230. So in this case, the rule does work. But now we're going to look at cases where the rule does not work. So we're going to take 10 times 7, 7 tenths. And according to the rule, we would just take 7 tenths and add a zero to the end of it. But now we're going to check to see if this rule actually works. So we're going to do the standard algorithm, 10 times 7 tenths. So 7 times 0 is 0, and then 7 times 1 is 7. And we have one decimal pla or one place after the decimal, so we're going to put our decimal right here. So it has one place after the decimal in the answer, which gives us 7. However, 7 and 7 tenths, or 7 hundredths, 70 hundredths, do not match. So this rule does not work. And so we're going to check it again with 1 and 23 hundredths times 10. And according to the rule, we would just take 1 and 23 hundredths and add a 0 to the end. So we're going to check this. 0 times 3 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. And 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. And we have two places after the decimal, so we're going to move the decimal two places. And we look at the numbers, and we see that this is 1 and 230 thousandths, and this is 12 and 30 hundredths, and that does not equal each other. So the rule does not work whenever you're multiplying 10 by a decimal. You can't just add a zero to the end of the decimal and get the answer. And this rule expires in the fifth grade. Teachers usually tell children or students to use this rule whenever they're learning how to multiply by 10. However, the correct way to, or the way to correct this rule is to say you can shift the um, number over however many spaces, however many zeros there are to the left. So such as since there's one zero and 10, you would shift the number seven over one place to the left, which is how we did here. It was seven was in the ones place and now it is in the 10 tens place and then you add a zero for the place value holder such as over here you would take seven tenths it was in the tenth spot we have one zero so we shifted it over one place to the left and gave us seven and added the zero in the place value holder in the ones place 